Capricorn, what's going on with you? I'm doing you guys because I flipped the deck over and look who I found. The bloody devil. We're going to get straight into your reading, ladies and gents. And we're going to see what's going on with you guys. This is going to be a November love reading for Capricorn. What's going on with you guys? Let me tune in to the energies of Capricorn. Let's get to reading more. <clears throat> All right, ladies and gents, the overall energy is here. Eight of Wands, the Page of Cups, and the Hermit Energy. Okay, this is communication coming forward, ladies and gents. All right, I feel that somebody here is a bit withdrawn. Oh, this fucking camera always has trouble focusing. All right. I hope you guys can see that. Nevertheless, there's communication coming your way, Capricorn. You guys could have been in a place of perplexity regarding a relationship, but it seems as if things are shifting, or at least there's going to be an opportunity to mend. Flat out. That's what I'm seeing here. All right, an opportunity to mend. Talk to me about this Eight of Wands. Three of Cups. Somebody here wants to it. Someone here wants to come and experience a sense of joy, whether this be you or the person you're dealing with. Some sort of desire for unity, a joyous union, six of coins. This is reciprocity, balance, ladies and gents. Somebody who's wanting to come forward and balance the situation out, they're wanting to have equal give, equal take. This person most certainly wants to put effort into a, a matter. Wow, the lovers. This individual, someone here's trying to make love, ladies and gents. Somebody here's trying to make love. Imagine that. This is a love reading. Of course somebody wants to make love. Shit, imagine that. Imagine a, love, uh, imagine a love reading where someone did not want to make love. Actually, there's plenty of those readings. Plenty that you have gotten from me. Nevertheless, talk to me about this messenger coming forward here. Page of Cups, the world card, wanting a chapter, a new chapter within a situation. Somebody here's trying to close the past out. They're wanting to have something new. They're wanting to open up a new chapter into the book. Look at that, this individual's been in the dumps. God damn, seven of cups, in the fucking dumps, confused, looking at the situa situation with an element of pessimism, just completely disenchanted. Not only in the relationship, but this shit kind of doomed at this individual. However, they're coming out of that. So they're putting an ending to that sort of attitude. Queen of Swords taking initiative, wanting to come forward and communicate. What do they want to communicate? What does this individual want to communicate? Mm. Well, well, I feel that this individual wants to address whatever happened here in the past. I feel that there has been a, a negative investment in the relationship, an investment that just led to a lot of instability, flat out. What was built as a foundation was absolutely unstable and that's what led to this disenchantment to this negativity to this you know just negativity would we'll just say nevertheless this person here wants to come forward queen of swords very diplomatic very assertive and effective with their communication and wanting to address this flat out they've been holding on to this for a very long time but i feel like someone here is now ready to talk it could be an apology here that this individual is coming forward here or this could simply be someone that has been waiting for communication never received it and now they're coming forward knocking the door how come you haven't reached out i've been waiting on your ass nevertheless let's see what's going on here the hermit energy and here's this individual minding their own goddamn business while the other individual is just fucking furious Ooh, six of wands so somebody's been isolated from a relationship but they've been doing good for themselves so it seems tell me more about this person's energy yeah, it could be dealing with a Leo, it could be dealing with a Virgo. Nevertheless, this person's got charisma, they're confident, they got it going on. They've been keeping an eye on this other individual, but not taking action towards it due to the burden that this connection was or is. Could have even been a commitment, shit. Or there could be commitment on the line, ladies and gents. What's going on here? Let's see what's going on. <clears throat> What's going on with Capricorn? What's going on with Capricorn's energy towards their person? 
What energy is Capricorn projecting toward their person? Let's get two more shuffles. One and two. Okay, Cap. Let's see what's going on. Cappy or Capri? Eight of coins and, and the King of Wands, Five of Wands. Okay, Capricorn, it seems that you are more than inclined to work on this situation. Okay? You're definitely not seeing eye to eye with this person, but it seems as if you're inclined to turn your back on whatever petty conflict is there. And it seems as if there's a willingness to work. Now, if you're not resonating with this, if you don't find your conflict petty, and if you're not willing to work on this, then this is not your reading. Okay? If you're... If your conflict, unfortunately, is beyond petty and irreconcilable, sorry to hear, but yes, I'm talking to those that are inclined to heal something, ladies and gents. Talk to me about this Eight of Coins. Six of Coins. Eight of Coins to the Six of Coins. Yup. So, like I said, could be dealing with a Sagittarius. I didn't say that, but now I'm saying it. Nevertheless, you are inclined to find balance within a situation here in Capricorn. I'm getting that clear indication. Capricorn is willing to navigate the intricacies of the burden, turbulent feelings, the tsunami, the tsunami, the destructive feelings. Why? Because you're in this Empress energy. You're wanting growth and expansion. You are wanting to step into this. I mean, you got feelings for somebody. That's certain. Strength card. You've been holding back from possibly expressing this or coming out to strong towards this Leo energy. However, I feel that that is changing, baby. Gemini energy. The lovers. Well, like I said, Capricorn's got feelings for someone and they are wanting to pour their energy into it and they're wanting to cultivate a situation. What's going on here with the King of Wands? What's going on here with the King of Wands? What's going on here with the King of Wands? Pentacles. Well, that's you. All right. What about this duel? Six of Cups. Very reminiscent. Very, very reminiscent. Both of you guys are in each other's mind. Flat out. You guys have been in separation. Both of you guys have been thinking about them. You may feel as if this person is your soulmate. All right. Seven of Cups. Seven of Coins. Oof. You've been stuck on them, haven't you? Just fucking thinking about them over and over and over and over and over again. Yet, taking no action. Making your own self miserable. Possibly cultivating this desire to come together with them, but just feeling way, way overburdened because you're not. Here we are with the five of wands. Oh, sh oh Lord have mercy. So all this desire to work on the situation, but it's still like this fucking contemplation. Anyways. Anyways, what's going on here with the five of wands? Seven of swans. Okay. Oh, fuck. Capricorn, I see you abandoning the situation. I feel that your guard is up. I feel that you are not wanting. I mean, fuck. I, I really get the sense that... Look, I really get the sense that Capricorn is in a pivotal point. All right? In a crossroad, if you will. They would like to work on the situation. They would like to have reciprocity. They would like to express the depths of their feelings and move this turbulent situation towards something better. They're very reminiscent of their mate, and their mate is very reminiscent of them. But it doesn't seem that Capricorn is taking action, okay? On the contrary, it seems that Capricorn's walls are up, thus encompassing the relationship with an essence of abandonment. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Oh my God. What's going on here with Capricorn's mate? <clears throat> Mating season is around the corner, ladies and gentlemen. We're entering winter. You already know what happens. Most babies on planet Earth are conceived during this season. I know we're like rabbits and we fuck all year long. Okay, I know we don't have a specific mating season. It seems that we tend to mate most often during winter. <laughs> I don't know if that's true or not. <laughs> so don't fucking quote me. Do your own scientific research. And let me know in the comments if you do so. 
<laughs> Maybe summer is the fucking <laughs> highest peak of sexual activity for humans on earth. Such dirty creatures. Such naughty creatures. <laughs> According to the Bible, you guys are going to get punished. You're going to burn in hell for eternity for, for reveling in God's creation. For being lustful, for wanting to procreate, you shall burn for eternity in hell, Capricorn. God damn. Anyways, first of all, if you're if you if you're an adherent of the Bible, you shouldn't be watching this. All right. Nevertheless, what's going on with Capricorn's partner? What's going on with Capricorn's partner? Ten of coins? God damn, somebody here wants to get serious with you. Crosswatch I think twice. I think twice than getting involved with a Capricorn. I'm kidding. I'm just fucking bashing. Anyways, you know guys, I'm, I can be a clown sometimes. I'm being goofy, alright? Just enjoy it. So it seems that somebody here wants reciprocity, Capricorn. Somebody here wants the Wheel of Fortune to have a turn of events. Wow, not only that, ladies and gents, this person wants stability, this person wants a relationship. Ten of coins. Oof, there's been defeat in this. I don't doubt that this was an actual commitment that ended up resulting in an absolute fiasco. And here they come again, Knight of Cups, wanting to razzle-dazzle all over again. My God. Here they are, Ace of Coins. All right, Capricorn, what's going on? You got somebody here wanting to come back and woo your ass. Possibly take a woof at it, too. Look at this. My God. I need to hold my tongue. Here I am talking about simple, sexual humans. And here I am talking about woofing ass. Let's see. What's going on here with the six of coins? Six of cups. The past is returning, baby. You got somebody from the past returning, ladies and gents. And like I said, they want to razzle-dazzle all over again. They want to put effort into this situation. They're wanting to put their efforts into this. Ooh, Ten of Swords. God damn, there was an atrocious ending between you and them. At least on their end, it was quite difficult. Whatever separation you guys went to, the Ten of Wands just blew out. Ten of Wands, Ten of Swords. I'm not a... Should I continue? This individual is fucking miserable here. But it seems as if now they're in, mo in motion towards you. Wheel of Fortune. Their attitude changed. Wheel of Fortune. Queen of Wands. Reinvigorated with passion and confidence. Okay. The lovers at the bottom of the deck. And the judgments. The energy of the phoenix rising from its ashes. Well, somebody here wants to have a reconciliation with Capricorn. Somebody that seems to be abandoned by Capricorn. Hmm. Capricorn. Capricorn. Well, that's exciting. At least you're not going to have a boring month, to say the least. Drama's always stimulating, especially to you ladies. You ladies love drama, don't you? Anyways, it seems like you're going to have plenty of it this month, okay? Let's see, are there any words of wisdom for the Capricorns that are resonating with this message? Any potent message? By the way, I'm taking this to the extended and I'm going to be dissecting and deconstructing your person. I'm going to look into their mind. I want to look into their desires with you. What are their true long-term desires with you? I want to look into this individual's heart space. Ooh, the tower, the three of swords. They're probably going to be fucking all bent out of shape when it looks into their heart space. But nevertheless, I'm going to look into their feelings for you. I'm also going to be looking into their perception of you. How is it that they view you? And the future of this. What is beyond what we're reading for this relationship? Something wanted to fall out. Okay, the chariot. This may actually get traction and get on track. We shall see. Nevertheless, any words of wisdom for Capricorn? Any potent message of guidance? The Knight of Cups. Wow, this is all about emotional vulnerability, emotional expression, Capricorn. Mm -hmm. Ace of Cups. God damn, ladies and gents. Capricorn, look. For whatever reason, I am compelled to tell you that you hold significant power.
power of influence in regards to this situation. Do you want a new beginning with this individual? Because if you do, you hold a lot of power to have that, to make it happen. And all it entails is you being vulnerable, you being initiative, you expressing yourself and partaking in that birth of this opportunity. That is it. Take it or leave it. All right. Anyways, I'm taking this to the extended Capricorn. If you're interested, the link will be in the description. It's a pleasure connecting with you guys as always. And I will see you next time.